I think this would be a good time to discuss. Um, there was a for the problem set number four or three, I guess. We had I had you do problem number four point two, and problem four point two in the book uh, from problem set three. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I told you to do it, but um, I wanted you to read ahead, basically, to, to see how to do that. But let me let's uh, let's discuss the problem set number three, number four point two, in the book. Basically, what's asking you is to take a look at a system. where we have in solution a certain amount of iron perchlorate iron 3 perchlorate and a certain amount in this case is 1 millimolar but it doesn't really matter and 1 millimolar iron 2 perchlorate The question asks you what concentrate what uh, what's the current being what current is being carried by the ions in this particular system. In order to solve that problem, you have to know a couple things. First of all, you have to set up a system in which you want to know the transference numbers. Now, what do the problem the transference numbers do for you? Now, let me get back to our, if you remember back to um, I think the second chapter, the transverse numbers were defined like so, where the transference numbers were the fraction of the current, say of species, transverse numbers of species J is the fraction of the current carried by species J uh, of the total current. So in other words, for any particular system, we can calculate transference numbers for an ion in that system. And that ion transference number will be how much current is being carried by that particular ion. And so the definition of that was the absolute value of the charge on the ion, concentration of the ion, and the, um, the limiting equivalent conductance of that ion. And we would take that and divide it through by the sum of the transference numbers of all the other species in solution. Okay. And so just to review, we didn't really talk about that too much, but let me write a few equations down. The conductance of a solution would be equal to the Faraday times the, um, oops, the sum of the um, conductance numbers, transference numbers. Where lambda again is the limiting equivalent conductance. And um, oops, uh, shoot. Conductance is not, I, get, I wrote it wrong. Sorry, let's try that again. Not mu, u sub k. Where again, U is the mobility. We have terms of uh, centimeter squared per volt per second. And of limiting equivalent conductance is just what the mobility is of, depending on the, it's a fraction of the total conductance carried by that particular ion. So we can write down uh, lambda sub i is uh, 
is F u sub i. So whatever the mobility of that particular species i is the limiting equivalent conductance. All of those lines together would be the total conductance. All right. Well, in our equation, in our calculation for the system, we can calculate the transference numbers for all the species that we've got in the system. And the, um, the problem made us assume that, and which makes it quite a bit easier, that the limiting equivalent conductances of the, all the ions are the same. Which is somewhat equivalent to saying that they all have the same mobilities in solution, which is not going to be true as a rule, but we can, they'll be close to the same. So we can calculate the transference numbers of iron 3 plus, which would be 3 times 1 times lambda. Okay, we've got a 3 plus species, so that's the absolute value of the um, charge times the concentration. Let's just say it's 1 is 1 millimolar and lambda, which we don't know. But um, we can then make the sum of the other ones for the iron plus the iron, iron 3, iron 2 plus the perchlorite solution, which has a charge of 1, but it is 5 times more concentrated than the iron 3 plus and 2 plus species. Why is that? Because there's um, three perchlorites here and, oops, that's two, not two there and three there. So there's five total. So we see that the transference numbers, the fraction of current carried by the iron three plus is three tenths. Why is it ten? Uh, because the um, the uh, system, the problem also specified that there was 10 electrons being transferred. So we'll just use 10. Rather than having currents, we're just going to be using electrons. <coughs> so three out of the 10 electrons are going to be carried by the iron 3 plus species. Transference numbers of species two, iron 2 is going to be a similar calculation, 2 tenths. And the perchlorate would be 5 tenths. All right. So let's, let's review. We've taken, we've just calculated the transference numbers and we've assumed there's 10 electrons being transferred. So of those 10 electrons, three will be carried by the movement of iron 3 plus, two will be carried by the movement of iron 2 plus, and five of the electrons will be carried by the movement of, of uh, perchlorate ion. Now, of course, that's just the way we're saying it, there's not going to be actual physical carrying of these electrons, but that's equivalent to that being true. Okay. 